I loved her, how Jude w was always in character, which helped me develop mine. Uh, <laughs> I was horrible all the time. Peter is a character who's been in the hearts of so many, for so many years, and it's just crazy to be able to play him. Uh, it's, it was a privilege. I definitely agree with that feeling of it being a privilege and it just being so wild for me, the fact that I'm getting the opportunity to play Wendy the way that I see her and be able to build her character and show her in a new in a new light. The second that I read the script, I fell in love with it and um, just really being able to take Tiger Lily into my own hands and to have that responsibility and that honor, I think it was, that's what really um, got me. The second I read it, I was like, yep, this is for me. Yeah, it was clear from the beginning that David was going to honor the iconic kind of status of this. Like, isn't it that you don't you don't change the story of Peter Pan and Wendy, and Neverland and Tiger Lily and Hook. You don't, but you imbue it with a with a, with conviction and honesty. And I think that that was an important part of of what he was obviously going to do. And it was in the script. You could tell he was he wanted to ground it. And to that end, I suppose with Hook, he added an, an element of his past. He wanted to flesh him out so that you understood. It wasn't just sort of good, evil in any way. There's a lot of gray area and there's a lot of emotion and there's a lot of fun. Um, but I think for all of us, it was evident from the script and being in the hands of David Lowry, we knew that we were, you know, you have this iconic story in great hands of a filmmaker that you trust and you're, you're you're, you're good to go. I definitely think what's very different between Peter and Wendy as opposed to Disney's classic animation, which was almost 70 years ago, it'll be 70 years ago next year, is the fact that Wendy and Peter are equals in this film. And um, it, they definitely, both of them have a lot more depth to their characters. I think it was about, I don't know, a few weeks in and David and I were talking, the director, and he was saying that like really, I really want you to make this your own, right? So he totally, the they gave me the reins on it and they let me take that into my own hands. And I, oh, I felt very empowered to have that responsibility to be able to do that. And so of course I decided to say like, to bring my Cree background into it. And uh, I really did a lot of research and I worked with my adopted Musham, my Musham Fred and I worked with my grandmother and uh, of course a cultural consultant, Dr. Kevin Lewis. So we all, I kind of brought all these different things to it um, just to really make sure that I took care of it because it was, it's huge. It's huge to be able to take on a role like Tiger Lily and make her into a beautiful, bold character that is telling a story of her own. Well, going back to the book, there's all these references to how terrifying he is and bloodthirsty and feared. You know, but you you can't just, you can't pluck that kind of those traits out of the air. You have to give them substance. You have to ground them somewhere. And if someone's behaving like that, then they're behaving like that for a reason. And so to go back on what David wanted to do by fleshing out the story, letting it breathe, investigating it, mining it a little more, the same goes for those traits of Hook, and I suppose it was trying to plant them in reason in the backstory. And that, I don't want to give too much away, but but, but un what unfolds is a relationship, a past relationship with Peter and their journey to Neverland, the discovery of Neverland. Again, it's not flashback, but it's told through their own sort of conversant, their own um, relationship, really. And it makes the rivalry, look, don't get me wrong, they still hate each other. There's no like best buddies at the end, but it gives some some, some sort of substance to that. And um, yeah, it was interesting playing someone with so little hope and joy. You know, you have to understand why the hope and joy drains from someone's life and um, and what causes that. Blast that Peter Pan. If I could only find his hideout, I'd trap him in his lair. But where is it? He yeah. trained hard and it, it took yeah. a while. Alex got ahead, there ahead of me and he had about a month on me and they wouldn't let us fight because he was so good. They were like, you have to earn, you have to, you have to earn your, your, your spurs as it were before yeah. you're allowed to fight each other. And I wasn't up to his 
standard. It was the tiny details of it that mattered, uh, but it was really amazing. <laughs> I think we were led by David. There was a clear sense of respect for the source material, but he he had a real sense of passion for what he wanted to bring out of it. And I think, as we've all said, he handed that over to us. So it's you know it's it's a classic tale, but it it, it needed, if you like, a modern sensibility. It needed a modern, a little bit of modern pixie dust <laughs> sprinkled over. There you go. Thank <laughs> you.